In this video, we're going to check out Bob Ollie's Iron Claw Squats. Sci fi war gamers. Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader Iron Claw Squats. Designed by Bob Ollie. Like this! Easily the most numerous of the abhuman races, squat clans and individuals may be found throughout the galaxy. Renowned for their ferocity, courage, and hardiness, they form the backbone of many Imperial forces. Nevertheless, squat rebellions are not infrequent events. The oppressed masses have been incited by belligerent clan leaders and manipulated by scheming renegade Imperial commanders. Criminal squats are even found amongst the piratical and bandit armies of the less salubrious regions of Imperial space. But, whatever their allegiance, it is universally agreed that they make doughty warriors indeed. Sadly, these squats, designed by Bob Ollie, don't have any names, so we'll be having a look at them, referring to them by number. Anyway, first up is number one, and he is a captain with a bolt and las pistol, and I do like the way that his head has sort of a uh, space astronaut's... Uh, helmet there without the visor glass and for some reason the bolt gun, I believe that's the bolt gun in his right hand, has this massive uh, grip surround thing going in. A very strange weapon indeed. Number two, this guy also has a rifle and a pistol and he has a strange green emblem on his forehead and I can't quite tell what that's supposed to be. However, I do believe the large weapon is an auto rifle. Moving on now to number three, and this guy has a very, very nice camouflage pattern on his helmet there, although he does have one of the biggest noses I've seen on a squat. However, I don't know what weapon he has. Squat number four now, a man dual wielding his pistols, trying to look very cool there. Unfortunately, he has a massive overbite and I can see his teeth coming over his beard. Are they sculpted on, or are they painted on? You tell me, but that facial expression is amazing. The standard bearer is up next, and I do like the Iron Claw Squat logo of this six-pointed red star. I believe it's used now by some uh, Gretchen clans, isn't it? I'm sure I've seen some red star Gretchen around. Anyway, I like the way the top of the banner pole has like a white fist on there. And I think that's a marvellous miniature. Moving on now to Iron Claw Squat number 6. And this guy has a lovely uh, brown leather jacket. And he also has another overbite. What is this all about? Is this to do with the sculptor? Or is this the painter running amok? I have no idea what weapon that is. It looks to be a sort of Eldar, early Eldar weapon of sorts. But if you know, please let us know in the comments below. Squat number seven now, and this guy is more of your normal World War II style squat. And he's got what looks to be a grenade. And that reminds me of the sort of frag grenade you would see today. I also like his goggles on top of his helmet there. Marvellous. Moving on to squat number eight. You can see the Iron Claw logo on his belt buckle there. And his hair appears to be in the style of a man bun. Uh, not a haircut I've ever had myself, but maybe I should try it once. Um, not sure what weapon that is, looks like a flintlock pistol of sorts to me. Iron Claw Squat number 9 now, and this guy has possibly the best hat of any squat ever. It's sort of a uh, peaked officer's cap there. He has a strange green loaf of bread on his left arm shoulder pad, although I suppose it could be a bit of armour. And is that weapon a dog's head on the end of a gun? Or does it just look like a dog's head? You tell me. Moving on now, we have a very interesting squat. Number 10. Um, this guy appears to be holding a weapon, a sort of sound weapon. It reminds me of one of the weapons from the old Command and Conquer games, one of the Allies' sound weapons. Um, I don't remember the name. Please let us know in the comments below. However, look at his hair there. He looks a bit like a barrister from Crown Court. Very, very interesting. 
Number 11 now, and this is the general. He is the general of the Iron Claws. Claw, the Iron Claw Squats, and again you can see the logo on the belt buckle there. And I do like his uh, snazzy little blue cape. This is a miniature I would love to get my hands on, although I'm not sure what sort of weapon that is. Iron Claw Squat 12 now, and this guy has a piece of freehand artwork on his left shoulder pad of what appears to be a skull or perhaps an alien skull of sorts and he also has a rather fetching brown headband which gets lost in his hair. I would probably have painted that red or maybe the same colour of the boots. What would you do? Anyway, that's a big gun. It looks a bit like another auto rifle, I think. Squat number 13 now and he has another strange helmet. All these guys seem to have very strange helmets. Uh, what is going on there? It's almost like someone's embossed the design or silhouette of a key on there. Um, the weapon also appears to have a side-mounted magazine. Very, very strange indeed. Squat number 14, and he is balding. He has seen a lot of uh, use on the battlefield. He is starting to lose his hair, and he has what appears to be a las pistol. I do like the sculpt of this guy's face. Very nice. Squat 15, after all the others that have come before this guy, is rather plain indeed, and he does have sort of a uh, cheeky grin going on there, and I quite like it. And here we go, here's your typical casualty mini. Every line of minis back in the early Rogue Trader years had to have a casualty miniature released with them. We still need more of these today. Now, number 17, this is a thing of beauty. Check out that weapon. What? on earth is that? It appears to be a bolter with an underslung bayonet with a shovel handle for a grip. Very, very strange indeed. He also appears to be missing one of his front teeth. They all have some strange teeth going on with the squats. Maybe I should be one. And he also has a opaque visor by the look of things. Maybe you can see through it if you're wearing it. Squat 18 now, he's uh, tried a slightly different variant of the old camouflage on his helmet, although he appears to be looking at his weapon, trying to figure out which way the weapon fires, because looking at it myself, I also have no idea. Now, Pirate Captain, number 19, another officer for the Iron Claw Squats. And this miniature, again, is very, very good. It looks a bit like Brian Blessed to me, and he also has like an octopus uh, sucker tentacle design going on with his shoulder pad because they appear to be concave nubs on there rather than your typical convex nubs. Again, I don't know what that weapon is. Iron Claw Squat 20 and it's another cheeky grin going on there. Is it because he's picked up his boss's bolt pistol? I assume that's a bolt pistol. Or is it because he decided to change his camouflage. Look at that camouflage on his headpiece there. What on earth is going on? For some reason, they seem to change the camouflage every other miniature on these. It's very interesting. Perhaps it's down to their piratical nature. Squat number 21 now, he has the same sort of camouflage on his head, but he also has a very interesting looking weapon. It's sort of a rifle with what appears to be a large scope of sorts going on there. If you know what that is, please let us know. Squat 22 has just returned from the Battle of Endor by the look of things. He looks a lot like one of the rebels from Return of the Jedi. Uh, I guess it's the year. There would have probably been a lot of inspiration from Star Wars around this time. Squat 23 looks nothing like all the others with his Space Marine style shoulder pads in blue. He also has a nice cropped hair, and this guy looks a lot more well-groomed than any of the others. Again, I have no idea what that weapon is. Number 24 now, and this guy has an awesome visor, or perhaps sunglasses, and that appears to be some sort of bolter that's been smashed up with a plasma gun, perhaps? It looks very strange. Indeed, again we have another style of camouflage. Squat number 25 now, who appears to be holding a metal acorn he's found stuck to a stick. 
or is it a throwing grenade? You tell us. Again, he's got a lovely helmet with the uh, star logo on the top and what appears to be a slung rifle there going under his arm. Now, squat number 26. What is this guy wearing on his head? Is he playing Fortnite? Is he on his Xbox? Is that a headset? Or is it just a nice pair of Iron Claw squat earmuffs for the cold weather? The weapon this time looks a lot more tidy, but I'm not sure what's going on in his right hand. I think that's a pistol of sorts again. But it looks a bit like a tortoise shell with a barrel coming out of it. Very, very strange indeed. Moving on now, we have Squat 27, the captain with chain sword. Again, one of the officers looks very nice indeed. I do like the officer sculpts in this line, but they appear to have forgotten to paint one of his eyes. Is the eye missing or have they just forgotten to paint it? You tell us. And also, the belt buckle is the wrong logo, however the correct logo is on his hat. But now, actually, upon further inspection, that logo again is wrong. It's a five-pointed star rather than a six-pointed star. Intriguing. Squat number 28 now has a lovely yellow, yellow cape going on and an awesome bionic arm, or that could perhaps be an early power fist. I think they referred to them as power gloves back then. Squat 29 is dual wielding throwing grenades and this is a sort of pose that I haven't seen replicated since the double grenade throw. Um, that sounds quite fun and I now feel inspired to take on this pose myself in uh, a future hobby project. Have you done the double grenade throw? If so, let us know in the comments below. Another dual wielder here with Iron Claw Squat 30 and he appears to be dual wielding another pair of pistols that I cannot identify. What are these weapons? You tell me. I do, however, like his glasses. Squat 31 now, and his mullet is blowing in the wind. Windy mullet, we'll call this chap. Uh, I do like his guy. He has a very tidy um, armoured vest going on there. However, is that a knuckle duster in his right hand, or is that perhaps just a cup of tea? I don't know. Finally, squat number 32. Um, he appears to be wearing a swimming cap after his swim he's had earlier in the morning, but it still has the same weird blue-ringed camouflage method. It looks a bit like a blue-ringed octopus to me in green. So what did you think of the Iron Claw squats? I thought they were pretty snazzy. My favourite was probably the officer gentleman with the orange flowing cape and the tentacle shoulder pad. Which one was your favourite? Did you own any of the Iron Claw Squats? Would you like to see them make a comeback? Could you tell what any of those weapons were? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy the content on this channel, then please consider joining the Patreon, the link to which is in the description below. And if you do, I will love you forever. If you want to see some more old Hammer videos, and I know you do, then check out the playlist up here somewhere. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, thank you very much for watching and always remember to drill your barrels.